Welcome back guys to another episode of CS Outdoors. This episode, we got a huge unboxing from Tackle Warehouse. You know, I've been running low on supplies about once every year to year and a half I make a somewhat, or I make a big purchase. And uh, as y'all have known, well actually I don't know, I, may, I think I've come out of the videos, but I broke a couple of my rods. I was not too happy about that. So I made a purchase of a couple rods. I made two purchases of uh, two different rods, and uh, same brand. Trying a new brand out. We'll I'll show you what they are in a bit. Um, they're a pretty new company as well, and I'm pretty excited to get into them. But further ado, let's get into this unboxing. Free t shirt, charcoal color. Let me take that out for y'all. Let me show y'all that. You know, I didn't know how that was going to turn out. The charcoal color, that's not really my color, but I actually like this a lot because it's got that accented blue in it, and that's pretty cool. I'm going to go and start wearing that a lot now. First thing, some cigar and Vizex. 8 pound fluorocarbon. I needed some new fluorocarbon. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear this up right there. First off, I got a bunch of frogs. Now, in the past, I've always used Spro frogs, but I thought I'd give Booyah a try. Booyah frogs. You know, it's a little bit of softer, softer plastic, which I do like a lot, and it's cheaper, which is definitely a, a plus. So basically when it comes to frogs, I only use two type. Um, is black, a black underbelly frog and a white underbelly frog, uh, which is what this is. is if on the bottom it's, um, it's white, even though it looks yellow on the top. And so I got two popping of the white underbelly because I don't have any. I already have a white underbelly, uh, just a normal one, pad crasher. So I... Um, only got one and I got two normal pad crashers and one po uh, two popping black ones so that's the first thing then I restocked on my Yamamoto Senkos guys or sorry my Yamamoto heart tail swim baits these things are amazing I thought about ordering more but you know they're a little bit on the pricier side with uh almost ten dollars uh, for only one package but these things work amazing and I just use these in dire situations but yeah I got a lot of swim baits oh my goodness guys I may have gotten a little too many I got some strike king rage tail rage swimmers I looked at these you know they're cheaper too there comes with a lot more I thought this would probably be a really good one to use on a day-to-day -day basis. Basically, I got one white up the top, and it's got a little white clear sparkle on the bottom. And then I got uh, just my normal um, green pumpkin with a white bottom, and they call that a green pumpkin pearl. Got two of those, two of the uh, gizzard or pearl flash is what they call it, and two of these, which I thought these are really cool. They call it the blue bug. And if you can tell, that's really, really blue. I'll take one out for you real quick. Hold on. Oh, yeah. So that's a little bit darker on the top blue, but on that bottom, that's just a really, really nice blue right there. Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely going to start doing a lot more swim bait type stuff. You know what? I started to catch a lot more fish off the swim baits, um, you know, started to get into a little bit more, and man, I have fallen in love with swim bait fish, and I've caught some really big bass off of them, and it's like, why not catch some more big bass? So, I'm going to keep fishing it. 
you know as simple as that okay guys next thing you know this uh these past couple months as well started using jigs a little bit more one jig i've fallen in love with is a swim jig and this is what i'm using i got the hack attack heavy cover swim jig and this is the black and blue one three eighths ounce and i got one one fourth ounce and uh i also got the as they call it uh the the green pumpkin one and then i got the just the white with chartreuse on it one all right guys as y'all can see right here i went hard on the chatterbaits uh most of these are three eighths ounce i got three simple colors i've told y'all this multiple times i only use three colors for pretty much everything you know i keep it i'm a simple man I don't ask for much, I don't ask for many different colors, but there are three colors I have to have as a mandatory for everything I use. And that, I got three, no sorry, I got four, because I don't have any. Four black and blue Z-Man Chatterbaits. I got three, yeah, three perch color. I personally like the perch a lot. Because uh, they can imitate, it's just, it's a normal green pumpkin color um, with a little bit of blue flake to it. And it imitates perch. You know, it's just great all around color. And then I got three gizzard shad is what they call it, yeah. Gizzard shad, you know, it's white. It's got a little flash to it. It's awesome. I ran out of a few of those, so I had to restock. I went all out on the chatterbaits because... You know, probably the chatterbait is my second, I'd have to say it's my second favorite thing to throw. Because it is just so fun. It is, and it's super easy to set the hook too, guys. Super easy. The, the bass basically do it themselves. Next thing I got is I got four 3 8 ounce buzz baits. I got two white and two black of the Strike King uh tour grade I honestly just went most of the things I use are Strike King because uh, Strike King to me honestly is the best brand out there never had any problems with it it is yet to ever fail me and so I just went and picked out a buzz bait I couldn't remember the exact one I used uh, or bought on the other buzz baits I have so I just went ahead and picked these out and you know I really only use white but I know black is also a big uh, necessity for buzz bait. So I went ahead and bought that. Okay, guys. I'm telling you guys, Strike King is the way to go. Alright, so what I got here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I tried a new color out. And I'm kind of liking it. Okay, I might have had to get a bigger one for that. That's okay. So what we got here first... As I'll show y'all. I'll show y'all a little bit of everything I got here. I got, of course, my normal Rage Bug, which I normally use, black and blue. That is probably one of my biggest uh, craws I use. Um, it's just Structure Bug, Structure Bug one. In the past, that's the only color I've always bought. I've never bought any other color, so I thought, hey, you know what? I'm going to try and give these other colors a whirl. I bought a watermelon red. And uh, I couldn't actually find a green a green pumpkin color that I liked. And so then I went ahead and uh, I went and bought some green pumpkin, purple and gold rage crawls. Now I've never bought this purple and gold one before guys. But I'll tell you what. Look at this. That's some beautiful looking stuff right there. Oh yeah. Maybe a little too flashy. But I'm not complaining. I bought a little grub. <clears throat> four inch Rage Menace. And that's basically a, 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 a twin tail grub right there. And I bought in that black and blue color. And I've actually never um, had a, um, I've never bought these before. 
but you know they're really well liked and I know people who fish this over you know the crawl I use uh, but so I thought I'd give it a whirl try it and um, you know and start flipping it and see how it goes and um, who knows I think it'll be I think it'll be really good too I think it'll be awesome all right I got some KVD Strike King caffeine shad these are I mean extremely cheap amazing swim baits I have caught some great great fish off that and I've caught a lot of fish off of those if there's any swim bait I would ever suggest to anyone it would be these right here um, I've never used these swim baits at all I'm gonna give them a whirl these amazing these are so good but they're also really expensive and they kind of tear easily these are really good too they don't tear as easily um, and they so that means they last longer um, and they're cheaper too which is you know, good for uh, the average the average fisherman got some power pro 30 uh, 30 pound test line uh, I think it's a 500 spool is what I got yeah I thought about getting the 1500 but you know what for a hundred I think it's a hundred and thirty dollars I don't know about that I mean over time it will save more money because that 500 one is fifty dollars forty nine ninety nine and so you know that times three is 150 so it saved me twenty dollars but it's like I can't make that purchase right now these right here guys these are the strike king kvd dream shots this is for my drop shot went and purchased these and uh this right here is some purple color what is it called what the heck brown purple i don't see any brown on it i don't know it's purple and it's got flakes to it i think that looks awesome and then the other one I got here, let me, let me let me go and put that back there. You know, the dream shots, I think they're really great. And this is the four and one fourth inches. Uh, I think they have like a, a five inch option. You might want to take them up on that option. I don't know. I, I gotta wait to go out and try these. The bass may love these. But you gotta look at this one. This is that that purple and gold one again. But in that dream shot, look at that. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. Well, I, I messed up on this one. It was bound to happen. I bought some Gary Yamamoto custom swim bait. Or sorry, just cut, uh, Gary Yamamoto Senkos. And uh, all my Senkos are going to be like this. FYI. Which is not good. Cause it's like eight, seven, eight dollars a bag, and I bought three bags total. One of this color and one of the green pumpkin. I bought them on the four inch one. Which is not good. Cause look at that tiny thing. Uh uh, I need that to be a solid inch longer. I need the five inch one. I wasn't thinking, but I got it in that black with blue flake blue large flake and I like that one a lot that's one of my favorites right there but you know what I'm still gonna fish it anyways and you know what's even better is it's still going to produce huge fish and it's still gonna produce more fish because that's how amazing these things are and I could put that on a wacky rig too and it's gonna be amazing so I got the Gary Yamamoto swim bait hooks or the swim jig hooks and uh, I got them all in a half ounce Do I know what I was thinking? Not really. But I'll tell you what, these things will sink fast. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, but yeah, I got one in 4 aught, 5 aught. I got two of each. 4 aught, 5 aught, and 6 aught. And that will work perfect for these. Because those are really good. And I may even go and try them on my, my Rage Swimmers over here. And those would probably be really good. I also got some little some little spinny things help you know put them on the I put them on these uh, hooks here so then I got 
Alright, I got some weighted belly trocar swim bait hooks, guys. I love these so much. It's got a little spool right there. Oh, man, I can't. A little quick lock thing mechanism. I don't even know. And this is a 5 aught. I think they're all 5 aught. Yeah, they're all 5 aught. And I think they're uh, well, heck, 1 fourth ounce, I believe. Yeah, those are the 1 fourth ounce ones. So that's really cool. Really, really good. I needed some more uh, underbelly swim bait hooks. I also have, I got some Gamagatsu um, hooks. Once again, with the little uh, quick mechanism. And these are the 4 dot because I need some more of those. And um, then I got two packages of the 5 aught hooks. You know, planning to do with all these swim baits and uh, my rage crawls and all that. Um, mixing up with all of those and whatnot. So, I'll break it down to the last two things that I have with me right now. Let me go and put all this stuff up. So, out of my three important uh, things, the first one that has come up is I got another reel, the mock, uh, Lose Mock Speed Spool. And you'll see why I got this rather than over the LFS series. And, uh, as you can see, that's just the reel right there and the packaging it comes in. But, see that green little tint to it and it's got green all around it and on that side and whatnot. And it's it oh man that's smooth. But basically I got the six eight to uh six eight to one gear ratio. That's looking nice right there, guys. That is looking nice. So I went and I purchased this. This, you know, again it's exactly like the LFS series. I mean these are just great reels in the mock series and the LFS series, a great pricing for ninety dollars. Um you get, I mean, a reel that does not feel like $90. It feels like a much more expensive reel. It's high quality. And, you know, I just absolutely love the lose in this brand. It is just absolutely amazing. But we'll get on to the last big thing we have with us here. And then later I'll talk about the last big thing that's not quite here yet. But we will get into it. Oh! I forgot to show y'all real quick. I also purchased, we're gonna try these out too. But a little bit of tiny little swim bait, right? We're gonna go and try those out. We're gonna have to get some small hooks for those, but. They, these are like $6 too. But it's $6 for six of them? How many does it say? Yeah, for six of them, that's a dollar each. We can, we can, we can handle that. We can handle that. But, we're gonna get on to this. To the rod. Hi guys. So the rod brand I'm trying out is called Arc. This is the brand called Arc Fishing Rod. Hold on. I'm gonna have to move like this. Arc fishing rods. And this series is the Viper series. And if y'all can see, that's got some green accents to it. And but everything else is pure black. And I can't express you guys. This rod is light. Like, hold on. Ooh, my bed's a little messy. We're gonna go and turn you back over here. This rod is super light. And apparently, it's made with Japanese Torre high modules carbon fiber, which is what makes it super light. And uh, so yeah, this is really, really, this is really insane and it's really cool. But you know what the problem is? Look at these eyelets, man. Those are micro eyelets. 
I'm gonna have some trouble putting line through that because whoo it's hard enough just with normal stuff but all jokes aside this rod looks absolutely great so we're gonna go and tie this oh my gosh look at this look at this setup black on black with green accents for both of them So guys, basically, the other rod that's coming in is uh, the same brand, Arc Fishing Rods, but it's called the Invoker Series. So uh, the past couple rods I've broken were my heavy duty rods, and um, you know those were my frog rods, and so was, I had to get a new heavy duty rod, so I went with the Invoker Series 711 Extra Heavy Rod, and so it's going to be a big rod. And that's got red accents to it. And so I'm just going to hook it up with my Lou Super Duty Reel. And I know it's going to do damage to this bass. So I can't wait to get this all going. And I can't wait to make a video over this and show you all. Because it's going to be awesome. It is going to be awesome. Okay guys. That is the end of this video. We got a whole lot of unboxings. We got a whole lot of, whole lot of baits. We got a rod coming in. We got rod right here and reel. Um, we got some soft plastics coming in. But man, with all this stuff, I'm ready to go take it out. Do a little bit of fishing with this new stuff. Try out these new swim baits I got. Try out some of the jigs and all these chatter baits. Man, it's going to be awesome. All while wearing my Tackle Warehouse charcoal color t-shirt, guys. But... If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to support the channel. Leave a thumbs up. Comment down below, uh, out of all this stuff, what you want to see me use the most. If you're excited about this new rod company and to see it, and I will catch y'all back next time. See us outdoors, signing out.